So after performing a good amount of surgeries, like 70 or 80 cases of the peribulbar or subtenone cases, I uh, think it is important that you start developing to uh, doing your topical cases. So for that, you have to think about like good fixation. So as you can see, I am, there are multiple cases, multiple um, um, ways to fixate the globe. I'm gonna show you like here. Um, uh, the nurses keep uh, injecting the um, topical anesthesia, and then I'm injecting uh, Vision Blue and injecting the AC with the anesthetic agent as well, intracameral. And for that, like you really have to find someone who uh, doesn't have a language barrier with you and someone who is very very cooperative, that uh, you trust that he's not gonna move around. And remember, like once you are uh, your instrument, two instruments actually are inside the globe, like the patient cannot really move it. Um, so different ways to keep the eye, the eye in primary, like you can use um, two instruments here, like the point one or the bone forceps can, uh, if you hold it, uh, if you hold it near the limbus, it, it, it will give you a very excellent grip. And if you're worried that the patient may have some pain, you can uh, get a Q-tip to stabilize the globe, uh, as you saw at the beginning of this video. And the third way of uh, stabilizing the globe um, is using a cannula. Sometimes, like the cannula, will be uh, will become handy. Uh, I use uh, sometimes the uh, irrigation cannula or the viscoelastic cannula um, to um, um, to stabilize the globe. Here, after you confirm, uh, you you've uh, completed the, the uh, capsule access. I uh, I'm starting to debulk the nucleus from the center. It's like relatively uh, moderate cataracts, not too soft, not too um, not too hard, and it's it's important also like to to choose such a case in uh, in if you are performing things for the first time. So if you are doing topical case, it is important that you don't go for um, a very soft cataract, so you don't hit the capsule with the uh, the posterior capsule with the phaco tip, and you don't go with a super hard cataract, so uh, you don't have um, difficulty cracking the nucleus. Um, debulking and then like a direct chop uh, and uh, horizontal chop, sorry, um, going um, uh, to the equator and uh, um, round of viewing these two instruments uh, across the equator, then across the center of the nucleus and cracking it down. That some, some I didn't get a full crack yet, but um, debulking is working just fine. So this is nuclear cataract, like probably plus two and uh, the patient is like in the early 50s so it's not like too old and uh, the, the, the FACO is going just fine and then the patient is very very cooperative and obviously we don't have a language barrier so he's just excellent in following or obeying all commands so here remo removing the nucleus and filled uh, with FACO emulsification then making sure that the capacity capsule is uh, doesn't get any surges, um, switching uh, on to um, epinucleus mode and then uh, the chopper in the protective position so the posterior capsule doesn't hit uh, the sharp phaco tip. Um, and then um, time maybe for IA now. Uh, I'm gonna like, I like this. Um, uh, this step, like where before the prothesis, if you have leftover uh, viscoelastic or enough viscoelastic, just like fill up the back and uh, stabilize things and assist things. And so, and uh, make sure that they see is inflated so we don't get like a, a big pressure gradient. Uh, that will be very helpful. Now, peeling off the cortex from the posterior capsule and the anterior capsule and reaching to the equator, and then we'll switch hands and remove it like 360. Do like some gentle amount of uh, gentle amount of uh, polishing. And so, um, yeah, that's that's how I do with my topical case. So, like few tips to, to uh, again, like to rewind. A few uh, few tips to keep in mind while uh, performing your your topical cases. Number one, like choose a, a patient with choose a patient who is very cooperative. Number two, he doesn't have a, um, he doesn't have a language barrier. Three, choose a moderate case of intensity, not too dense and not too soft. For um, uh, use um, um, use uh, soft techniques to um, stabilize the globe and keep it in primary. You can use either of the uh, irrigation cannula. You can to put it in the side port. You can use the bone forceps to hold the globe near the limbus, or you can just use a simple cotton tip uh, while you are perform uh, performing gentle um, and gentle um, steps. Now inject the IOL, and then we're gonna remove the viscoelastic with the irrigation aspiration, and then. Um, uh, we're gonna hydrate the wounds, and uh, this case is almost over. So um, um, you will come to the point that uh, cataract surgery should be uh, very routine for you. Remember that this, uh, as an ophthalmologist, this is the most common procedure and the most frequent procedure that you will be performing in your day, performing in your daily life. And you, if you move to private and uh, some demanding patients, I don't think like 
um, local or peripheral anesthesia is acceptable so you should get used to topical anesthesia thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day